Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Salt 2 Shores of Gold. Salt 2 is an open world pirate game focused on exploration, survival, and crafting. Explore islands filled with quests, caves, towns, pirates, and secrets. Level up skills, craft, hunt, fish, loot, and decorate your ship. Um, this game is coming out September 20th, and I just want to say thank you to the developers for sending me a key. So let's go ahead and start a new game here. Uh, my name will be uh, Captain Cage, Pirate Captain Cage. That sounds pretty good. Um, and then we're going to do random generator for the world. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. And begin game. And here we are in game. And I love games that have a tutorial. That is really awesome. So we're going to look around a little bit. We are going to read the name on the table. This is a crafting menu. All right. Um, I guess this is only for rafts. Yeah, this is a cartographer station. That's not a real crafting station. That's only for uh, making rafts. We are going to grab some stuff off this table. We got a weapon. You can, like, left-click to attack, hold down left-click for power attacks, right-click for defense. A perfectly timed block at the last second will parry the enemy. I haven't tried that yet. Um, I did do some combat, some combat, but I didn't try that parry thing yet, so we'll have to mess around with it. Uh, take the empty bottle. Let's go ahead and read this thing. If you are reading this, you don't, you didn't die. Yes. I found you shipwrecked and barely clinging to life. Unfortunately, I have somewhere to be. There's a cave north of the camp with enough supplies to build a raft and get off the island. If I were you, I'd build a raft, head for the nearest seaport. I'm leaving a map, compass, and sextant on the table here. The map contains coordinates to a seaport. Use the compass and sextant to navigate there. Once you have done so, it might be a good idea to talk to the cartographer. If you're going to survive right there, you need a proper ship and crafting stations to place on it. I think I'm going to like this game a lot. Maybe he can help you upgrade to a better vessel and get you on your way. Good luck. Maybe we'll see each other again. Maybe we'll meet again. See each other again. You get the gist. All right. So that is awesome. So I'm going to press number one to put the um, the cutlass, is it a cutlass in my number one hot bar spot. I'm going to put the... Uh, um, sextant number two and the compass number three. All right, beautiful. Now we need to find and enter the cave. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, I don't see any. Oh, okay. So apparently you can take damage by walking on the fire. So that's a thing. Uh, these flowers are really important. You're going to want to loot those along your way. I don't have to look where the cave is. I, I know where the cave is. You just simply use your compass and head north that way. Yep. Looks good to me. I'm going to pick as many flowers as I can on this island because when I did get to the second island in my test game, uh, you know, I wanted, I needed a lot of flowers and, you know, things of that nature. Like these right here. Um, F, F. There we go. F to loot is going to take some getting used to. There we go. Plant fibers are important. Wood logs are important. There's a campfire right there. All right, stuff's all looking good. Let's come in this cave right here and see what's what. Uh, F5 to save the game. Beautiful. I didn't see any... Yep, yeah, there we go. Saving. Cool. Now we need to loot the supply chest. So right here we have some money on the table. And we have a pickaxe. A couple bananas. Bananas are... Uh, if you look in the bot here, let's go to let's go to stats. Right down here is my, um, my hunger bar. And each banana represents like a level of your hunger. And each level of hunger will, you know, uh, affect your stats. So... All right, let's read this. Uh, most of the entries in this journal are illegible except for one found scribbled. Um, I found a cave. According to many sources, there's a hidden alcove with treasure in here somewhere. Apparently a breakable boulder of some kind. Uh, there was a note, dead. the dead man points the way. Okay, got it. Sounds good to me. All right, so let's do some looting. There is, can't loot that. Oh, yeah, cave mushrooms. That's good. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, we'll deal with him in a moment. Oh, no, I guess we're going to deal with him right now. Right, let's try and parry. I don't think that parry did... Whoa, he's dead already? Okay, I guess the parry did did do something. It didn't seem like the parry did anything, because this guy usually takes quite a few hits to kill, but that parry must have messed him up pretty badly, which is awesome. So we're going to hold down F to loot all, and the only thing in there I'm going to be interested in right now is the potion, and we're going to put that as number four. All right, loot this. Nothing... Um, okay, hold on. Um, now, there is another menu if you hold down E. Um, so I can go to the pickaxe. And we're going to break this boulder here. Copper vein. We are going to need copper. And we're going to get copper, flint, and stone. 
which is beautiful. I think I'm going to like this game, like, a whole lot. I'm actually liking it way more than I thought I was going to already. So this guy's pointing to the boulder you have to break out. But we're going to hold off on that for the time being. And come over here, grab some more cave mushrooms. I don't know what these are good for. Got to be good for something. Now, I am getting levels, but as far as I know, um, leveling up these stats don't do anything for you at the moment. Uh, yeah, skill trees under construction. Don't forget, this is even when it comes out on September 20th, this game is early access. Throughout your adventure, you'll discover crafting recipes, interact with these recipes in your inventory to learn them. You can craft them by using the appropriate crafting station. You can also see all learned recipes in the known recipes section of the pause menu and keep track of recipes at the crafting station. Got it. So we're just going to take all those. I'm not going to learn those just yet. Um, here, let's grab this. Immune requires 10 mining. What the hell? Oh, we got a hidden chest back here. Take that. All right, beautiful. All right, so that looks like just about everything. There might be some stuff I missed, but... Oh, hold on. Cave mushrooms. And we're going to break this boulder. Oh, it just takes one hit, apparently. I'm going to come back here and loot this. Many equipable items, such as armor and weapons, have talents that you can customize. Inspect an item and see its talent tree. It's cool. Like, yeah, like, um, different armor has, like, talent trees. It's, it's freaking dope. Talents on items are randomized when they are dropped or crafted. Looking for a specific role on a talent on an item, you can craft it multiple times to try to find the best combination. See, this is cool. This is a survival game at heart, but it's putting RPG elements in there, which I really enjoy. All right, so we're going to loot all that. And then we're going to come under inventory. Actually, no, yeah, okay, inventory. And we are just going to scroll through here until I see what I need. Armor right there. All right, so this comes with two constitution, three armor, and one talent point remaining. So if we go right here, we can either do minor dexterity, which is plus one to dexterity, increases the chance for special effects on weapons and armors to occur, also increases hit chance with weapons that scale with dexterity. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Or one agility, increases your maximum stamina. All right, we're going to go with dexterity and then equipped. And I think that stays with the dexterity. Yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. Just awesome. So is there anything else in here? Not really seeing anything, so I think we are going to head out. We need to return to camp, but I'm going to do a little bit of looking around before I return to camp. Health points are crucial to survival and combat. You can hotkey health, sorry, health potions. You can hotkey health potions. Yeah, I already did all that. Got it. You can craft them too. Oh, what is this? Oh, copper vein. Cool. Yeah, when I first did my test game, I was in a hurry to get off this island because I wanted to see like how all like you know. Uh, the, the sailing and stuff worked. And now that I know how the sailing works, I'm really not much of a hurry. So I think we're going to we're gonna loot this island. And uh, they should have put as, like, part of the quest, like, explore and loot stuff on the island first. Because, you know, you don't really want to come back here. I mean, you can come back here, but it's a, it's a bit annoying. You really don't want to. I don't know if there's any weight limit or anything in the game. I'm not, I'm not seeing a weight limit. I don't know if there's any kind of limit on what you can carry. Um, I don't think I could chop down trees either. So... Oh, what is this? Immune. 20 mining. Holy crap. What's my mining at? Skills. Oh, God. Level zero. Okay. So it's going to take a little bit of time. That's okay. I'm mostly here for the for the bushes and the copper. Um, I don't even know if I could use that other stuff yet. When I get to the next island, I'm going to want to make like a bow and some arrows and stuff. And I need copper for something else. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, I'm going to make some stuff when I get over to the other island. What is this? I don't know what this is. Also, we're going to need wood. So getting these logs since we can't chop down trees is really important. Drunken man's shack. Okay. All right, buddy. Um, abandoned shack keys required. Oh, crap. That means I'm going to want to find the key. Is the key in here? Nope. I didn't think it would be that easy. Also, I don't think I could remap the keys. I tried and C is duck, which I absolutely hate. Um, so I'm hoping they'll allow us to remap the keys or maybe there is a way to remap the keys and someone will tell me in the comment section. That would be wonderful. Okay. Where is the key? Loot that. That. Nothing in there. The rum has gone to my head again. Can't even remember where I hid the key to the storage shed. I feel like it was on a stone. No, a tomb. No, a tombstone. Yeah, that was it. Wait, I need another drink first. Okay, so we're looking for a tombstone. Probably not around here. 
uh, but that's okay. Uh, we will continue looking around. I don't even know where I would like go to find this tombstone. But you know what? I'm having fun just looking around. And like I said, I need as many of these like trees as I can get. As much of this wood as I can get. Um, I did see a deer. I killed a deer off camera. And I wanted to kill one for you guys. Uh, just to show you how to do it. I mean, if I don't get him. He was over here somewhere. I don't know where he ran off to. Um, if I don't get him though, just so you know, just run after them. And swing with your sword. Oh, there he is. Alright, here we go. Let's get him. I don't know if we're going to run out of stamina or not. Alright, here we go. Uh, swing! Swing away, Cage. Swing away. Well, I figured I'd take more, one more look near the guy's house. And if, yeah, there's a tombstone right by his house and there's the key. Alright, cool. As usual, I go far and wide to look for stuff that... Uh, Bandage check, this will consume the item. Um, I go looking far and wide for stuff that's a lot closer at hand. Uh, copper, stamina, starfish. Um, copper. Bananas. Plates. I'm not sure what the plates and stuff are good for. But I'll take them. Why not? Um, arrows, health potions. Ooh, lockpick. Nice. <gasps> oh, cool, a bow! Sneak by pressing C on the keyboard or right thumbstick on the gamepad by default. Well, that answers one of your questions, guys. It does have controller support. While sneaking, attacks deal extra damage to unwary enemies. And you make no noise when you move. You can sneak attacks range uh, with the bow by crouching. Okay. Grab that. Can I take that painting? No. Alright, so where are we going to put the bow? I didn't think... Well, you know what? I'm probably just going to do the bow like this. And can we get our arrows back? Yes, we can. So we sneak like that. Alright, fair enough. I'd still like to be able to change the sneak key to, to control though. But, you know, what are you going to do? Let's get back to camp. Returning to camp. By the way, my camp looks like a raft that was just put over this boulder. Notice that? It's pretty interesting. Alright, now we need to craft a raft. So there you go, you got the raft. And you got the wave skipper. Can't do the wave skipper yet. Missing a lot of resources. Let's just do the raft. There we go. And then we put the raft in the water. I tried to loot that, you can't. But I can loot the bottle. Alright, so now we need to place the raft. Okay. Place. There we go. And then we get on the raft. All right, over here, beautiful. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to um, find out where we need to go. So let's look in our inventory and first of all, I'm gonna look in uh, my recipes. So we've got the Wanderer's shirt recipe. Let's go ahead and learn that. Uh, the Wanderer's boots recipe, Wanderer's hat recipe, and Commander's ring recipe, interesting. All right, then we're going to come over here. Now, we found this map to Seaport. we got to go to 4 East and 1 North. So, we'll waypoint it. Now, I don't know if the waypoint shows up on your map or anything, like in your UI. I don't think it does. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to use the cartographer's thingy, all right? And then we're going to press once, and that'll mark us That'll mark us on the map. So, there we are. So, we need to go um, North 1 block and East 4 blocks. All right, so what we need to do is we need to figure out which way is east. East is straight ahead. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn um, we're going to turn this on. Ships can be found in the ship tab of your inventory. It can be placed by interacting with the item. There is no need to worry about beaching your ship. Interact with the ship item again to redeploy it. Once you obtain a ship, you always have it available. You can deploy it wherever you wish near water. So that's going to get us going. And we're going to go on here. And honestly, we're just going east at this point. And we need to go north a little bit. So, um, what you could do is anytime you want, anytime you want to mark something, mark where you are on your map, you hit this thing. It looks like we're drifting a little bit. Uh, no, we're still going east. It looks like we're drifting, but we're not. All right. So, eventually, this this will change. We started at zero zero. And now we're at one one east zero south. So if you look on your map, and that's where we are now. So you see, we were we were here. Now we're here, and it will just keep going this way. Hit that again. That'll say two zero at some point. Just depends on you know how long it takes to get to the next part. But anytime you want to like know where you are on your map, you hit this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like it's complicated enough to be interesting, but not so complicated where I want to tear my hair out trying to figure it out. <laughs> so we are just going. Wait, we're heading. Yeah, rise in the east and sets in the west. The sun is proper. I like that. 
All right, so this should go to two east at any point now. There we go. Now we're at two east. Yep, there we go. Now we just go one more or two more, and then we head north. I mean, when we're here, we could start heading northeast, I guess. All right, so we are right here. So I'm going to head northeast, which is pretty much that way. So what you do is you grab this, and you start turning. And the way you know when you're back at, like, the starting point is there's a little red, like, flag. A little red piece of cloth there. And that means it's back straight. So we are heading northeast. I'm pretty sure it's that island right there. That's a huge freaking island, too. So I found the island, and then I ran over there. And up there is the town I got to go to. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try... I'm going to try and spawn my raft in over here so I don't have to, like, bring it all the way over here. Yeah, look at that. That's freaking cool. So the raft is, like, on the other side of the island. It just didn't line up with where, you know, I had to go. So I can just bring it over here. No problem. That is freaking awesome. So let's come up here and check out this town. I need to um, find the cartographer coordinates stuff um, using the map you found on the table. Okay. So we're going to look around here. And do we talk to people? The undead are roaming among us. All right, fair enough. Here's a job board. You could take quests and stuff. Kind of mess around with that later. Um, you currently have no quest that could be complete. Oh, okay. So completed by mail. Interesting. Can we take anything off this table? It doesn't look like it. Uh, what do we got here? An innkeeper. Now I know you guys can't hear what they're saying. So welcome to my inn. Make yourself at home. I uh, wouldn't be interested in helping out an only an innkeeper, would you? Um, I don't have time for your silly requests. What do you have in mind? I used to be a big time gambler on here and was very good with the dice. Any game involving dice I could win. Over the years, I became a collector of sorts. I collected all kinds of dice with unique designs. I've recently come across a new design. Um, they call them gambler's dice. Um, gambler's dice? They have a unique cut in it. All right, what do you want me to do? I'd like you to find them for me. If you do, I'll pay. Uh, yeah, all right. I hope you aren't uh, shy about using your blade of yours. Okay. Um, you're, yeah, they want me to go to pirates. All right, I'll find your dice. All right, I'm not going to worry about that right now, but it, I'll, I will get that quest. We'll see what's... Oh. What the hell is this? Oh, I didn't know there's basements and shit. Cool. And now I could rob them, right? I don't see why not. Ain't nothing telling me I shouldn't. I'm just going to leave that up there, guys. You can read it if you like. I'm not going to read everything I come across. I don't need to be reading some pirate's poem. Uh, rob them. These, these guys are assuming I'm not a pirate, but... Like, I played Fallout. I take every... I better take everything I can. That's how I roll. All right, so... Yeah, can we rob him right in front of his own face? Some of the stuff, he, it seems like you could take and some of it doesn't. So, yeah. All right, whatever. Let's just get outside. I'm not sure exactly how the robbing process works in this game. Mm, nothing there. Wh who are you? Uh, Marauder Scout. Uh, who do you think I was? What guild? Um, you know what? I'll mess around your stuff later. Uh, I can't take that pick. Uh, nope, nothing there. Oh, here we go. That's very good. Can't take any of that. Who are you? A traveler. All right. I guess nobody. I guess you're nobody. So I'm looking for a very specific area around here. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I think it's over here. Yep. Yep. This looks like this looks about right. Here we are. Cartographer. You've got a look of a new sailor about you. You're looking for a master navigator. Take your yeah navigator. Don't be ridiculous. You're looking. Uh, you're looking at one. Blah blah blah. Okay, what do I do? Pirate. Yeah, he wants me to. He wants me to get the better, the wave skipper. Oh, uh, fantastic ship. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you guys could pause and read if you. I don't really want to read all this. Um, there we go. And oh, this is a crafting table. So now I could actually. Oh, that no, this is the cartographer station, not the crafting table. It looks a lot like. Oh, we got a hatchet. Beautiful. I didn't know I could take that. So now it'd be easier to get wood. Oh, I want to take your hat, bro. I can come up here and go to sleep if I so choose. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Because I do lose food and everything. And I don't see a reason to do that. Alright, found a workbench. And we are going to make ourselves some health potions. Um, morning dew, yeah, that's fine. We'll make three. Fine by me. And then I think there's a... Yep, there's a campfire right here. 
And do you want to rest? Um, no, I thought I could cook on the campfire. Uh, maybe I have to find a, a very specific campfire. Yes, this is the campfire. There we go. So I can make cooked bear with cooking oil. Cooked boy, well, I can't make cooked boar. Venison also takes cooking oil. So this is uh, 17 food and 5 health, I think is the same. But that gives 2 strength and that gives dexterity and agility. I'm going to go with, oh, I can make cooking oil? Oh, all right. All right, well, I'm just going to make some uh, cooked venison. Because that sounds good to me. And then we're going to do is we are going to uh, sleep through the night. And then we are going to go get some pirates. Um, that quest I didn't read anything about. Um, new beginnings. Cartographer has offered to help me build my first real ship, the Wave Skipper Return. He wants me to find a stolen compass. I should check nearby pirate islands and see if any pirates are carrying it. Then the cartographer, then return to the cartographer at seaport. Okay. So it doesn't seem to give me a specific island. So I'm guessing they're all pirate islands. So I'm not really sure. So we're going to go ahead and sleep. And that did uh, take our hunger down a little bit. Um, I do have a lot of food, though. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to wait until I get to the... Um, actually, let's take a look at what the food is really quick. Under stats. Um, 70. Okay, so I need like 30 food. All right, that's all right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to find an island. And then hopefully it's a pirate island. I don't know if there's a way to tell where there's a pirate island. But I guess I'll just go to the closest island I can see. And then we will not look for pirates. Once I find the, an island, I will go ahead and eat. Because I want to enjoy the bonuses I'm going to get from eating. So I was wrong. The pirate island was marked. When I got the quest, I got this map to pirate island. And that's where we are. So I think I'm going to... Uh, well, let's grind for the pirates first. And then we'll eat at the last minute. Because the buff that we get from the food only lasts five minutes. Um, it's a pretty decent amount of time, I guess. But still. So that's... Oh, thought I heard something up here. Uh, hello? So it looks like there's kind of paths. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find anybody. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not where I'm supposed to go. Now, should I go this way? Yeah, let's look this way. Let's find these these bloody pirates. All right, I see some pirates down there. I don't know if this is... I don't, I don't even know if they're pirates, but I'm on Pirate Island, so I'm going to assume they're pirates. So let's go ahead and eat this. Okay. And we'll eat this just to get full... There we go. Full full food. Alright, so we're going to try and sneak up on these guys. I don't know how close you can get. I don't know how close I'm supposed to get. Um, this looks pretty close. Oh boy. Alright, so if they come at you... There you go. If they come at you, don't bother trying to shoot again. Oh, we got the compass. Glad we took that quest. Alright. Duck. And we got... Oh, does that guy have a bow? No, he's got a sword. Okay. Don't know if there's any arrow drop in this game. Yeah, there's definitely... Actually, I can't tell. That looks like it's going right through him. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Four. Oh, those things, your potion's on a timer. All right, good to know. Four. All right. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that guy wouldn't get hit, but... I don't know, it's kind of weird. Hey, early access. That's why. Maybe I was. Yeah, I, don't think I, I hit him one time, but that was when he's already—he's already charging at me. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else around? I'm gonna loot these full stuff. Yeah, give me that. Nothing in there. Okay. Morning dew. Like it. I like it a lot. Oof. Um. Yeah. Let's eat this. I think stuff can go bad because there's like a ripeness to the food. So it's going to be tough in this kind of game. Yeah, only copper. There's copper, silver, and gold. We can get some gold, please. All right, fibers and stone. Copper, axe head, compass, stone. All right. Can I get that rope? Yes, I can. 
don't know what the hell the bottles are, bottles are for, to be honest. Hold on. Guy looks like he's got a bow. I don't know what this bow's deal is, man. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Take the bow and the arrows, thank you. It's nice to see someone with a weapon, like, dropping the weapon that they have. I was playing another game where I was killing guys with guns. And just, I kill them over and over and over and they never dropped any guns. I was like, come on. Like, at least drop broken guns. So, like, maybe I broke the gun in the firefight. Very, you know, that makes sense. But, yeah, they weren't dropping anything. Like, no guns at all. Uh, loot the cutlass. Is that better than what I have? Now, there's going to be, like, um, different kinds of loot in this game. So, just because my cutlass does one thing. Um, secondary attack damage. It looks like mine's better. Block percentage. It's got a better block. Oh, this comes with two dexterity. But it's got less damage. But it's got better block percentage. I really like that two dexterity. I'm going to stick with the one I have, though. Alright. Take the flint. I can't take the skull. Rope. Craft stuff. Got it. Craft. Can't take any of that stuff. Alright, I looted you. I looted that. I looted the, all this, right? Yes, I did. Alright, let's go inside. Save the game. God knows it's going to be in here. Uh, I don't know what... I don't know what the deal is with the bow, guys. The parry doesn't seem to be doing anything either. I'm assuming it's like because it's got a low block chance, maybe the parry doesn't work that well. I don't know. Or I could just be mistiming it. Damn it. Alright, let's try it. Come on. I don't, I don't know. That parry doesn't seem to be working that well. That's okay. Alright, what do we got here? See the last guy? Yeah, boy. I don't know what's with the bow either. Like, sometimes it, does, sometimes it like, almost kills him in one shot. And other times it, like, doesn't, like, do anything. Parchment. Loot. Loot all of that. A lot of parchment. I want all of your parchment. Okay, so my arrows are obviously going through him. Or maybe above him. I don't know. I don't know. New game, you know. New game who dis. Let's take that. Um, take that. That's a special hatchet, I think. Uh, Swabby's... Swabby's hatchet? No, same thing. Are these all separate? Yes, they are. Very good. Grab the cave mushrooms, even though I don't know what the hell they're for. Return to the cartographer. So we got the compass. Did we get the other guy's quest item? No, we didn't get the dice. So I think these, it, it said the dice drop off like big boys. Go ahead and read that if you like. Yeah, like, um, there's, like, pirate bosses or something, it said. Ooh, a pirate's cutlass. Hold on. Let me turn off my timer. Pirate's cutlass. Um, yeah, it seems like the same as that. Oh, yeah, that was the same as that. Okay. Alrighty, fair enough. Oh, hold on. Hold on. E. Yeah, there we go. Got some more copper. Loot that up. Alright. Uh, more cave mushrooms again. I don't know what the cave mushrooms are good for, but they're there. They're easy to get. Ooh, a fish hook. Nice. Because I want to do some fishing, but you need, a, you need a fish hook. And I might even need bait of some kind. Sage. Do that. I must, I'm probably going to need like a million bottles. I don't know what the hell I need bottles for, but they're like all over the place. Oh, worm. I could do some uh, fishing now. Right, 
take care of this. I think this will probably be the last thing that we'll head back and turn in the quest. Um, oh, hold on. Human bone. Rope. What's all that parchment for? And where does it go? Is it just junk? I don't know. I'll take a look at that later. I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Oh, hold on. All right. I will... Oh. Man, I wish I had a light back here. You guys think you can't see? I can't see either. All right. I don't know if there's anything back there, but I couldn't see anything, but I didn't see anything to loot either. All right. It looks like that's all the loot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of the ore in here, and then we will head back to um, the first... I don't know what that island's called. The original island. And uh, turn in our quest. All right, before we head back, let's check this place out. Candle. There's a bunch of candles up here. Oh, there we go. Receive parchment. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at that parchment. We're already going long here though, so I will. Um, I'll take a look at that parchment in between videos. All right, here we are. Turn in the quest. Got it right here, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, hi, I've missed this little compass. So golden and so precious. Blah blah blah. Uh, we've done an asset promised here are enough supplies to build the waves the wave skipper You can use my cartographer station over there to build it come talk to me once you've done that You also need to learn the art of crafting wait did that say crafting or did I misread that? I'm not really sure. Anyway, this is all gonna happen next episode guys um, I'm really excited about this game. It's actually a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be and um, I hope you guys are too If you are make sure you let me know in the comments like the video share it subscribe all that good stuff if You end up enjoying the video Please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. I know I just asked that twice. It's because my outro. I'm just such in the habit of doing it. It's like holding in a sneeze. I have to do my outro. <laughs> All right, guys. Either way, we are going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.